Greetings, fellow gamers and horror aficionados. Today, we're venturing back into the haunting corridors of gaming history with the latest iteration of a true classic Alone in the Dark, reimagined for 2024. Join me as we dissect this intriguing blend of nostalgia and modern innovation, a journey filled with both delight and dismay. Immersing ourselves in the origins, Alone in the Dark pioneered the survival horror genre back in 92, captivating players with its polygonal characters and spine-chilling narrative. Fast forward to now, and we're revisiting this iconic universe, rekindled with the flames of the past, but steering through the uncharted waters of today's gaming standards. Our 2024 adventure unravels within the enigmatic walls of Dursito Manor, a sanctuary turned sinister in the heart of Southern America. The game cleverly nods to its roots, presenting a dual narrative through the eyes of Emily Hartwood and the grizzled detective Edward Carnby. Embarking on this journey, players face a pivotal choice stepping into the shoes of Emily or Edward. This isn't merely a cosmetic decision. It shapes two distinct, intertwining narratives, each promising a unique lens on the game's darkly woven tapestry. The dual perspective is a gem, though I found myself yearning for a more integrated narrative experience. Alone in the Dark pays homage to its lineage with optional tank controls and fixed camera angles, stirring a potent cocktail of nostalgia and tension. While the manor exploration and puzzle solving are a treat, echoing the cerebral challenge of classic survival horror, the game's combat elements stumble, marred by cumbersome mechanics and sluggish animations. Where the game truly excels is in its atmosphere. The manor is a character in itself, brimming with chilling tales and grotesque secrets, the game's visuals are a feast for the eyes, with meticulous attention to lighting and detail painting a world both beautiful and horrifying. The auditory landscape is equally compelling, with a sound score that encapsulates the essence of dread and suspense, augmented by stellar voice performances, notably from Jodie Comer and David Harbour. Their portrayal adds a rich layer of depth, enhancing the game's immersive quality. However, the shadow looming over this eerie adventure is its combat system. The clunky mechanics and lethargic reloading pace disrupt the game's rhythm, turning potentially thrilling encounters into cumbersome chores. Moreover, the specter of technical glitches and performance hiccups occasionally breaks the spell, pulling us out of the immersive world Bethesda so carefully crafted. Despite these setbacks, Alone in the Dark stands as a testament to the enduring allure of its franchise, offering a journey that is as intellectually rewarding as it is atmospherically rich. Yet, the cumbersome combat and technical snags cast a long shadow, reminding us that even the most luminous flames can flicker. So, is Alone in the Dark a beacon for fans old and new, or does it stumble in the shadows of its predecessors? It's a game of contrasts, marrying the brilliance of its narrative and atmospheric design with the frustration of its flawed combat system. It's a journey worth embarking on for those who cherish the genre's roots, yet one must tread cautiously, lest the darkness consume the light of enjoyment. Thank you for joining me in this shadow-laden review. If you dare to brave the corridors of Dursito Manor, let us know your thoughts below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into gaming's vast universe. Until next time, keep your lanterns lit and your wits sharp.